Okay viewers, uh, welcome back to another ration review. But before we start I'd just like to uh, wish you all a Merry Christmas, uh, a joyous Yuletide, um, Happy Solstice um, and any other holidays which you care to celebrate. Um, right, so with that on with the ration. Okay, so, so, so today's ration is another Russian one. It's um, IRP, individual ration. It's a single meal. This one is dinner. Uh, menu number four. 1248 calories. Um, this somewhat delightfully translates as petals of beef. But um, I believe it is meatballs, nothing more exotic than that. So, right, so a dark green, sturdy plastic package. No sign of any zip notches, tear, sorry, tear notches or resealable kind of shenanigans. So, we'll uh, get the knife out and uh, Try not to uh, damage anything. So what do we get? We get a, a rather battered. Uh, oh, this is the. What is it the um, like the aubergine caviar, something along that lines? I'll get the translator out and check that anyway. Um, Look, this looks like a tiny little, tiny little chocolate mousse or chocolate spread, perhaps. Ah, and that's broken off there. But, oh yeah, this has come all the way from from Russia, so uh, it uh, was bound to incur some damage. Mentos, pretty cheap spoon. Unbranded crackers. Hopefully they're not the uh, the pans are waffles. Um, some kind of boiled sweet. squares of what looks like to be toilet roll. Something powder. I get the translator in there. Oh. There we go. There's our meatballs. Look like they might be quite spicy. And it says it's microwavable. Well, I don't fancy doing that with a uh, with a metal container. Maybe I'll decant it into a bowl. See what we got. I think that is our. Well, I'll, I'll not guess. I'll get the translator. Out. There's a tea bag in there. Well, they're unusual. I've only seen green top matches, but they're obviously stormproof matches and a striker. And uh, a big old, looks like 15 grams of sugar. Uh, oh! Yeah, I wasn't sure whether this was genuinely military or not. Uh, I've got some salt also. No pepper. But, uh, yeah, you get a, a teeny tiny. Um, Stove for your fuel tablets. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I don't want to use that indoors. So that's that is everything. Right, let's check some of these things out. Okay, so that indeed translates as a um, vegetable caviar, which is more of a kind of jam sort of stuff. This is chocolate spread. It seems to have survived the journey, not gone off or anything. But um, yeah, so I guess that goes with the crackers. Uh, 
that's your, that's your tea bag. I think I mentioned that. Uh, this is a like a citrus isotonic beverage powder, and this is also a citrus lemon slash lemon uh, wet wipe. Right, so I think what I'll do is I will put the meatballs on to warm up and we can try the rest of the stuff in the meanwhile. Okay, near as I can guess, this requires 240ml of water. Seems a lot of powder. Yeah, and it just seems to want to um, sit in the bottom there. Looking at this, it looks to be essentially made up of uh, sugar. And I do wonder whether that would be better off with uh, half a litre of water in. As I say, I don't know, maybe you guys can make out, but... The only figure I can see is 240, so maybe maybe that's 240 calories or, or whatever. So, have a taste of that. Oh, that's raspberry. Raspberry flavour. And it doesn't taste too strong, so... remember ice pops those frozen like long thin frozen lo lollies it's kind of got that flavor that reminds me of those mm. it's quite pleasant yeah. cool and let's have a look at chocolate sauce you better check your crackers out on the air They smell quite biscuity, those ones. They are quite hard, but they're not, they're not, um, not in league with the special biscuits. I shall, um, I don't think I've got enough there. I'll try it by itself. Yeah, just a pretty standard. I think it's, it's too thick to be like a dessert, like chocolate mousse. It's um, it's definitely a spread, probably. Right, so the chocolate doesn't appear to have been compromised by getting broken there, but it was inside a little Ziploc bag. Um, yeah, it was, that's nice, just a standard chocolate spread. Um, there you go, you can see, uh, you can see, now oh, there's the tab, but you can see that has taken a bit of a battering. So we've got 25, 5.0. 18 so it's about well a day short of seven months out it passed its date but uh, oh that might just be when it was manufactured uh, let's have a look this is gonna be one of those ones that yeah we're gonna have to do it the uh, yay you do get one of them little plastic things like we do in the bigger Russian rations.
It's quite tough. Okay, so there we go. There's our vegetable caviar. It looks it's quite soft, yeah, it's very soft. I'll taste it by itself. Yeah, and it does just have like a slightly sweet nondescript vegetable taste. Excuse me. Yeah, so No, that doesn't do an awful lot for me. It's not unpleasant. You could eat it, and I dare say it's about the only sort of uh, vegetable content in this particular ration. So it's getting you some fibre or roughage, I guess. As you can see, this napkin is, at least the dry one, is no more than a large, sort of very thin sheet of what I can only describe as toilet paper but it is what it is um, let's go and see if the uh, the meatballs are ready yet or the, the petals of beef <laughs> which is a, I guess a lovely translation ok so there's our petals of beef I guess they aren't quite meatballs they're more like little uh, little patties but I think this is like a tomato, tomato-ish sauce. Try and get that all out under there. Yeah, a reasonable amount, don't you? That's not bad. Oh, and I've steamed the camera up. That's better. Just. Uh, The one that's uh, the one that's broken up. Oh, it tastes it smells a bit peculiar to be honest. Very soft texture. Not a great deal of taste. I certainly wouldn't be able to uh, say with any conviction that that was beef. Could be anything, to be honest. Um, I'm sure this is what the uh, what they would do in the field. To give it a bit more texture. And that does help. That, yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying that. That's quite good. Like I say, a bit bland, but the addition of the crackers definitely help. Um, what have we got left? We've got Mentos. Mentos gum. I think we know what that's like. Um, this boiled sweet. I'm not sure what flavour that's going to be. 
Oh, is that? Is that like um? Excuse me, it's like we got a a rose hip or something. Do you know what I mean? I really can't put put my finger on that taste. It's definitely fruity. Again, pleasant, pleasant enough, easy to eat, and a little little bit of a treat. Perhaps it's a vitamin, a vitamin thing. I don't know. There's definitely sugar in it. So, I think that's just about done. I'm gonna have a, another drink of me beverage. It's made itself up a bit better. Oh yeah, it's lovely and refreshing. So, I think that's about it. Um, I haven't made the tea. I've tried the Russian tea before and I don't really drink tea anyway, so I'm probably not the best one to judge. But uh, I seem to recall it was quite a strong dark brew so yeah anyway I'll catch you later I'm just gonna uh, just gonna carry on with this uh, thanks for watching um, yeah have a Merry Christmas um, unless you're watching this in the middle of summer and then I hope you had a Merry Christmas um, yeah so thanks for watching see you soon